the Aryan Strike Force. Their stated goal is to start a race war and 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 to eradicate ethnic minorities and and they do have chapters here in Canada. Canada's public safety minister adding to Canada's terror list. Two right-wing extremist groups, an American neo-Nazi and an affiliate of the Islamic State, all considered terrorist entities. Being added today are two ideologically motivated violent extremist groups, the Three Percenters and the Aryan Strike Force. Those two groups joining the likes of the Proud Boys who were added to the list in February. American neo-Nazi James Mason and a Democratic Republic of Congo-based affiliate of the Islamic State also new targets on the Canadian list. When an entity is placed on the list, banks and financial institutions can freeze their property, which helps block the flow of financial resources to terrorist groups if they attempt to use Canada's financial systems. The additions coming weeks after the killing of a Muslim family in London, Ontario. Blair says the threat of far-right violence in Canada is growing, with recruitment aiming at those who wear a uniform. Both groups have, have, have uh, publicized their interest in recruiting within law enforcement, um, former law enforcement and, and military and people with military training. I think that the Canadian military needs to do a thorough house cleaning uh, in its ranks to, to uh, expel anybody uh, who has uh, associations with uh, white supremacist groups as well as have them charged. Khan is happy to see the new additions but feels like the list is missing some important names. Soldiers of Odin, La Mouette, ID Canada, and the Yellow Vest Movement have also engaged in white supremacist ideology and targeting people who are not white, who are um, immigrants, uh, refugees, Muslims, and so forth. And yet we don't see these groups mentioned, and yet they're very prominent across the country. Canada's terror list now has 77 different entities. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.